Got a few, few people showing up for the horse and mule sale already. Today's only Monday, and uh, sale's not till Friday and Saturday. That one's a girl that she said she was a, I don't know, a forest service packer or something else, but uh, horse packer anyway. Pretty neat. And today was very busy. <laughs> I didn't end up having time to play with this stuff at all. Still trying to get stuff. These are plow parts for one of our plows. And these aluminum planks, those are for the bleachers and scrap wood. This stuff here, that green stuff, that's kind of no peak stuff you weave down through a cyclone fence. This is what that green stuff is. It's just little uh, kind of metal strips that you weave through the through the net wire like that, the chain link. Keeps people from peeking through and seeing the show when they didn't pay. Yeah, here's another another guy over here that didn't see him sneak in. But uh, the shed here, probably too dark to see, but it's almost empty, really. We looks like a lot on here, it looks like, but there's not much left, really. This, this is my sign I had back when I had my saddle shop. I had that from, um, I think, 97 on up to 2002, 2003. Bunch of saddle ropes. And this has never, since I've worked here, there's never been this empty. So, yeah, it's getting there, but... Slow but sure. Most of the stuff that's still left in here, I've still got some odds and ends, but that box of ropes and uh, this box here, really hate to get rid of this. This, uh, it's falling apart and it's not much good. It's pretty dark. I don't know if you can even see it, but that sits like that. It's got a door on that side with a shelf and a couple of compartments. And then the other side, I don't remember now, I think that has, yeah, it's just got, oh, it's too dark to see it. It's got two compartments in there. What that was, was my dad, I helped him build that, probably in 1969 or 70. Not sure we had moved to Nevada yet, but uh, that was a camping box. He'd put all our food and paper plates and things in there. And uh, that's got some good memories attached to it. My dad, he died in 1980. So, like I said, I, I have absolutely no use for it and it's falling apart. But even so, I kind of hate to get rid of stuff like that. And it's silly. It really is. I mean, I I got my memories without having that box, but people come and go, and that's life, but you hate to see it. You hate to get rid of stuff like that, even though I, I need to. It's probably, probably time, unless I can repair it. Here's a better look at that box. That side, he's got two uh, compartments and a little kind of roller latch on it. That side over here, see it's coming apart. I don't know if it's worth fixing it. But this side, he had three compartments. This one up here, I think if I remember right, had paper plates and things, and this was for stuff like ketchup bottles and salt shakers and things like that and paper towel roll that sort of stuff 
like I said, we we used to travel the country. His job, uh, he worked for the government, and uh, I've been to 31 states, and we lived in a little travel trailer, and before that, uh, a van, and uh, that box was under the back seat of that van, and like I say, it was some good times. There goes that gal, she's got a mule. Man, it turned out to be a pretty day, look at this. That uh, rain and snow we were having a couple of days ago, it's mostly gone. Let's see, where'd she go, right there. Let her get past all this stuff, but they do have some really nice looking mules and things down here. Kind of neat. You don't uh, see very many lady packers anymore. This guy here, he came in night before last. He's got a few mules in there. And I can see past those mules, there's a couple more trailers over there. So yeah, we're out of time. They're showing up. Some of these folks, look at this. He's got a got a semi to pull that trailer with. Must be poor. Must be terrible to be that poor, huh? And they've already brought the backhoe down to tear out the buildings. So I'm dang near out of time. Today is. Uh, Monday I have till next Monday but the horse sales in between and uh, there ain't no more time tomorrow I got to move bleachers and things into the building and gonna be busy 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 but for now yeah take my little trailer off here and get to a fair board meeting so Thank you for watching, and see you tomorrow. Bye. So today was also the day of the eclipse. In our part of the country, we couldn't see it at all. And uh, I thought this was kind of interesting. My phone is out again. <laughs> That's an AT&T problem. But says here that NASA will launch three sounding rockets during the solar, the total solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024, to study how Earth's up, upper atmosphere is affected by sunlight momentarily dims over a portion of the planet. And, let's see here. The sounding rockets will launch at three interval times, 45 minutes before, during, and after the peak of the total eclipse. These intervals are important to, I can't hardly read that, to collect data on how the sun's sudden disappearance affects the ionosphere, creating disturbances and that, that can potentially interfere our communications. <laughs> I doubt it's got anything whatsoever to do with it, but it is kind of funny. I mean, the timing of it. Uh, I don't know. The, I know AT&T's been having problems. I have no idea why, but ours has been out most of the day once again.